This is a story of how ordinary people can create a better way of life for themselves and their neighbors. For this reason, we have invited mayors, religious leaders, and others in this room. If you don't have money, if you don't have position, it doesn't matter. You're very important to this story. Racism is a powerful human feeling. Successful integration takes hard work by people of all backgrounds. The extremely poor get isolated from the culture and advancement of other people around them. Crime becomes a problem. Finding safety and peace becomes a problem. And it's complicated for everyone. Sometimes it falls apart. Sometimes hatred takes over. What this means is that innocent people on all sides may live in fear. Some are hurt or killed. This happens in the USA. This also happens in Central Europe with Roma people. Ordinary people can come together and say, in our town, we will not accept hatred. We will not accept some people making other people feel unwelcome or fearful. Few of us can really deny that this is one of the most burning challenges, not only for Hungary, but actually for Europe as a whole today. Hungary itself, which has initiated the Roma strategy, the inclusion strategy, a framework strategy for the European Union. By the end of that year, basically by the end of uh, two, uh, 2012, all European member states have to have, uh, had to have a social inclusion strategy. That we consider a major step. Not in our town is not an American model, it's a human model. And I think that's such a vital message for, um, for this story. Resistance to intolerance and finding new ways to do with it is a human urge. I think that's what we found with the stories. There's great goodness in the world and we have to have it come out, as you'll see in the film. What was particularly really nice and useful that uh, we saw examples. If those films will reach the high scores and, uh, and the hate is going to be closer or became real or became something against which people can act for those young people. I think that could be something where we can start. In Hungary we've seen a growing um, number of incidents against minority groups and uh, we certainly sense, but we could also see from statistical data that there's a growing level of intolerance in this country. And this is a core issue for the United States around the world. We engage on the issue of tolerance and human rights around the world. So we have always had programming here at Embassy Budapest, certainly over the last 22 years, to try to engage and help to support the Roma. In fact, in the early years after the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was a USAID presence here, there was a Peace Corps presence here, and in large part it was to help the Roma from falling um, into the cracks. I think every country and every community finds their own way, and there is not one single way. And um, I do think there is something universal about this model, which is that each of us grab at our core va values and say that I am going to speak up about this wrong and find a way to do it. And yes, it, you know, the narrative that this country carries is very painful. And um, it, it's really challenging. It's different than the narrative we, we have in our country. But sometimes a new story can break up an old one. And so how can we find those stories, like this Tolerance Club? How can we find other stories in Hungary that can break up this narrative that we can't do anything, that we can't speak up for each other? I think that's what we're really looking for, these new narratives, these new Hungarian narratives that can um, help people find each other and to make change.